Hello my friends and welcome back to another video. My name is Amanda and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are continuing with my But Make It Vegan series with episode two. We are making my mom's hamburger soup, but <clears throat> because we're making it vegan, there is no hamburger. You could use like a, a beyond like beef or like a meat substitute, but we're gonna use um, lentils to replace the beef in this and I think it tastes very close to the original. I'm very proud of this recipe. I even brought some to my mom to have her take a taste to tell me what she thought. So if you're interested in a cozy soup recipe, stick around. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and let's get cooking. I'm so happy to be back and making this video coming back to my but make it vegan series I started this series back in January of 2024 and I intended on making a few recipes but this year has a uh, been a little bit of a whirlwind so we're back at it with episode 2 hamburger soup but not hamburger soup we're gonna be using green lentils as the protein source for this dish and it's really simple ingredients um, I am making a few adjustments to the recipe besides swapping the ground beef for the lentils um, I'm also adding one onion and instead of stewed tomatoes I'm using diced tomatoes just because that's what I had on hand and instead of cut green beans I'm using frozen green beans again that's what I had on hand and then um, the recipe calls for six bouillon cubes I'm only using three um, yeah and they're not beef bouillon cubes so the very first thing we're gonna do for this soup is prep our veggies so we're gonna chop up our celery carrots and onions you could do this in a food processor if you just don't feel like doing the chopping um, but I'm just gonna do it by hand I'm doing um, I think I did in total like two and a half to three ribs of celery. And then I ended up using one and a half of these carrots because the <laughs> these carrots were ginormous. They were so big and I didn't want the soup to be primarily carrot based. So I'm just chopping them into bite-sized pieces so they're easy to scoop up. On the fatter part of the carrot, I'm cutting it in half and then dicing it so the pieces are about the same size as the rounds, but you really do whatever you want. I um, just prefer to do it that way so they're a little bit more uniform, but I haven't had this soup obviously in a while because I've been plant-based for quite a while, a couple years now, uh, but I really was hoping to capture the richness of this soup and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do that as effectively as I did um, because the ground beef itself is very umami it's greasy and like I always remember there being like a little bit of a layer of grease on this soup not to be gross it was flavor like it was flavor from the ground beef and if you're not interested in using lentils you could very easily sub the half pound of ground beef for um, like the impossible beef or beyond I don't remember which one comes in like a ground form or you can make your own ground beef um, but I thought lentils was an easy swap um, so I did keep it pretty pretty true to the recipe but like I said I made some adjustments just to kind of amp up the flavor because we were veganizing it and didn't have that like richness and fattiness from the beef um, yeah so if you're watching mom I hope you like this rendition it turned out really good and it like surprisingly tasted so close to the original that I remember anyway now that I'm done rambling uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna melt two tablespoons of vegan butter in our pot which is uh, a new addition in addition to the onion that is not exactly on this recipe I wanted to add some butter to get that like greasy like fatty like flavor into the dish and I thought that sauteing onions would really kind of bring out some of that flavor just just adding like a depth of flavor because um, I don't want it to be 
unflavorful or bland. So sauteing the onions until they're translucent for a couple of minutes and then adding in our carrot and celery and just cooking that for a few minutes just to kind of get a little color on it. And then we're gonna add everything else in. So we added our frozen green beans, gave that a stir. Again, you could use a can, just drain them. Um, and then we're gonna use our not beef bouillon cubes. I'm using three of those. And then our protein source for this dish are green lentils. So I'm doing one cup of green lentils, adding that in, just kind of stirring everything together to absorb the rest of that butter that may still be in the pan. And then I pre-boiled my water. I ended up adding five-ish cups of water. You might need more or less depending on if like your veggies are bigger, I don't know. You just wanna make sure everything is covered. You wanna have enough water so the lentils can cook uh, thoroughly. Uh, and then you're adding in your can of tomatoes. You don't have to drain the tomatoes. We want those juices in the pot to help add flavor to the soup. And then seasonings for the soup are super simple, just parsley and black pepper, excuse me, um, and black pepper to taste. I would go on the heavier side with the black pepper, but don't go too much if you don't like spicy. And then the secret ingredient to amp up the flavor of this dish, a tablespoon of miso paste. So we're not adding too many ingredients to change the flavor, just boost the umami of this dish. So the vegan butter and the miso paste. And then we're just gonna cover this and let it simmer for about an hour until everything is nice and cooked. And that's it and this was so good I was so proud of this nailing it on the first try if I'm gonna be totally honest like it had that little bit of greasiness to it like in a good way it was nice and flavorful and very reminiscent of the original so hope you like it mom okay so I thought it'd be appropriate this is my mom hi hi mom uh, to give her a sample of the soup, considering it was her recipe, to see what she thought. So we have a little sample of the not hamburger soup. So, initial thoughts. I'm excited to taste it. It looks exactly what I've made, so the taste test will be interesting. So here <laughs> okay. we go. Okay. You're doing great for, okay. for being on Pretty camera. Good. Thank you. It's really hot. Mm. That's good. That's really good. The one thing that I was always concerned about when I was making hamburger soup was putting too much pepper in it. And sometimes it's too much pepper, but this is really good. And it tastes very, very similar. So good job, Amanda. Yay. Yay. Mom approved. One more bite. Okay, one more bite. Yeah, get the, the veggies in yeah. there. Yeah. Mmm. That's really good. Good job. All right, my friends, thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Another great cozy soup to add to your arsenal, especially as summer is winding down and we are heading towards the fall months here in the USA. <laughs> I don't know why I said that like that, but whatever. So yeah, I hope you guys like this recipe. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below, along with any other soup recipes or really any other recipes that you're curious about veganizing. Um, I would love to kind of add those into the rotation uh, as I continue this series uh, throughout my channel. Um, yeah, sorry if it's kind of loud. I have the window open and like I'm, I'm working through audio things, but yeah. <clears throat> so if you made it to the end, again, I just want to say thank you. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Check out some other videos. Share with your friends. And I will leave you with that. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye for now.